Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into another gear wrench update or five year review as well as a comparison of this product to gear wrench's new release. So I just did a video on the gear wrench hook and pick set. It's a seven piece set and I've had it for roughly five years. So I did a review on it as well as comparing it to gear wrench's new release. So go ahead and check that video out if you haven't. But today we're going to be looking at the gear wrench panel popper pry tools. It is a four piece set and I've had it for roughly five years. For the first three years, I really didn't use it. I used my panel popping pliers and normally just a screwdriver. Now I do a lot of interior work. And so I've started to use them. I took a couple of them to work with me and then a couple stay here at the house. The ones that I've been using daily have been fantastic. So I want to share that information with you guys, my thoughts on that, as well as comparing it to Gear Ranch's new design, it's mainly just the handle design. If you guys didn't know, Gear Ranch has kind of moved away from the uh, old red and black stuff and moved more towards the gold or yellowish gold, orange, and black. So it's kind of a cool design. They also changed some features on it. So we'll get into that. I'll share some images of the new set as well as the price and I'll show you the set that I've had for roughly five years and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys do, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down in the comment section of your guys' thoughts, or if you have this set or you're considering buying the new set. Other than that, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Let's get into this. Here we are looking at the four piece panel popper pry tools from Gear Wrench. So I'll have the price of this set uh, posted up right here. And the new version is actually cheaper, just like all of the other sets that I've showed you in the past. I now have a video up of the screwdrivers, the pick set, the scraper set, and now this panel popper set. So I have all of the red and black handle design kits and they have released their new design of the orangish gold and black handles with a new design, not just a color change and uh, more of a tri-lobe feature to the handle than this style. But they're a little bit cheaper and I think that's Gear Wrench trying to push their newer design out uh, and get people to buy those because they want to be known for that design now. But these are still available. They are a few dollars more when it comes to each set if you get this design. So really that's a that would have to be a color preference on your your end. So these I did not use for probably the first I would say I only used every once in a while for the first couple of years just because when it came to those clips I would always just use a flathead screwdriver and pop them even though I had these it was quicker if you know most of the time i already had a screwdriver right nearby so i just grabbed that instead of actually grabbing the tool that was necessary for it but i started using them and then i got this new job and i do a lot of interior work so i took these two to work and i primarily used this one uh and you're not gonna really damage these these things are way overkill for any of those plastic clips um, and most of the time when inserting this, it's up against a hood cushion or anything like that. So you're really not doing anything. I don't use this against paint. I use a lot of plastic trim tools as well when working with interior pieces. But most of the time, anytime I'm under the hood, I'm using something like this. Uh, this, I don't even think I've used this one yet. Um, I can see where it could be handy, but I just grabbed the two that I knew I would use at work. And I use these almost daily. Um, and then I have this longer one as well. So here, I'll just show you kind of a close-up design. So I've had these for five years. They've held up well. I like the handle design. These same handle design as the ones on my screwdriver set, and I've used those for five years almost daily, and they've held up very well. Here, it you know, it's like a rubberized portion around the molded gear wrench. So this isn't going to rub off or, you know, go away with brake clean or anything like that. It is not just printed on. Uh, so the handles hold up very well. All the red is a plastic portion and then the black is a rubberized portion, so it is dual material. And then this is the grip portion. And in the pictures of the new design, you'll see the changes in them. Unfortunately, you can't really tell that it is a trilobe. Um, this is a very, very slight trilobe there's not it's not real aggressive it only kind of looks trilobe because of the black portions here um, but really it's more of a circle but the new handle design is a much more aggressive trilobe design so but over the last five years 
recently, the last year, these have been getting a lot of use and they work really well. Like I said before, they're extremely overkill. I mean, if this thing ever breaks popping a clip, I don't know what that clip was made out of, but congratulations. <laughs> so I don't think you'll ever have to worry about that, but they've held up well. They work great and save me a lot of time and a lot of clips. I do not like having to replace clips. So they have that square cut design. They have this V design. And then I only use, these are used a lot of under hood, like I told you, um, but a lot of the times I mess with the push pins that, or the pin clips or push clips that have the center tab that you have to pull out and then the clip comes out so that I still use a little metal pry tool for um, a flat pick. Then you have this design, I don't even know what to call that, but you do have some good length here. And then you have the hook, and this one is actually fairly sharp. So if you ever have an issue getting underneath a clip, I'm sure this would work great. I personally don't really use this, but here's the part number on that. And this product will be linked down in the description for you guys, as well as the new set. It will be linked down there as well as many other tools. So if you guys are interested down in the tools link in the description, it's there for you. So here's just a close up look at all of the items and the part numbers. And then just like the other sets that I own, it does come in this plastic organizer. This one does take up a little bit more space, but it's not a big deal. I have room for it. Some people, it might not be the best because you do have a lot of empty space here. And it's not the thickest plastic, like the screwdriver organizer is a little bit thicker than this. But like I stated in my previous videos, these don't ever move. Once I find a spot for them in my toolbox, they never move. So this, it holds up just fine. Now, if you're constantly moving this tray around, Eventually that'll probably break, but as far as this just sitting in the toolbox to keep it organized if you have the room, it's great. If you're trying to save some space, you might have to find a different way to organize it. But overall a great set, priced really well, very handy, and just like this set, I'm sure the new one is just fine as well. The only thing that's changed is the handle color and the handle design. Other than that, the tools, just like all the other sets that I've had and done a review on, it's the same sets just a new handle design. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this set if you guys own it or if you're thinking about purchasing it or the newer version. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. See you guys next time.